WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently we have a bit of a mixed bag out here. That mix is really coming from the semis. They're up 27 points. Otherwise, all the other U.S. indices are trading to the downside. Dow's off 323, but well off of its lows. Uh, S&P's down 34. NASDAQ is off 33. That's about three-tenths of a percent. Russell is up one and eight-tenths percent, or 31 points. Uh, you've got gold off 27 bucks. Silver's down 91 cents. That's almost uh, 5% to the downside. Lights we crude off a little over 1%. She's trading out at 95.14. Natural gas is off four pennies. 6.64 is the print there. And 26 ticks to the downside for the 30-year Treasury, trading out at 139.17. So what do we want to do here? Um, Let's go take a look at our cash indice charts out there. Let's up, throw those up on the screen, see if there's anything, uh, any any information that they are generating for you and I. If we take a look at strength out here, so we've got the, uh, this is our eight-panel chart. The strength right now is in the NASDAQ 100. I say strength because price is above a red oscillator and change line. The red, os the red line, when it's red, tells me our price oscillator is below zero. Price oscillator is the difference between this 39 and 19 period exponents moving average of price, a price oscillator. Being above that says at least you have a price oscillator that's below zero, but it's rising. You want to see that rising. The semis, they're well above. They didn't even test that uh, today, so they've been strong like bull out here. And the NASDAQ composite, the larger NASDAQ composite. Those are the three. The next one up to potentially get into that so-called, not to say bullish, but it's certainly not extremely bearish, would be the S&P 500. The level that it needs to clear and close above today is uh, 37.75 is what we'll call it. It could be 37.76, but right around there, you're at 37.69 right now. So if that gets above it, you know, it says we could see a rally or should see a rally. That rally maybe only taking us up into this little evening star resistance level up about the 39.45 level. So is there anything else there for me to take a look at? No, not really. Now, look, expect a bumpy ride. Now, I'm not saying even that price is going to make that move up there just yet. Why? Because when we take a look, I just want to take a look. Where are we at with regard to market breadth? This is a 60-minute time frame chart. And I'm just, just to make sure that it's properly updated, I'm going to go to this weekly. Then I'm going to come down here to the one-hour chart. There's only 35 instruments trading above the top of their 60-minute profile, whereas there's 362 trading below the bottom. So this rally that we see underway, just look for resistance levels. I don't have the time to go figure those out, but we did take a look at those during the Trader's Ed Show. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear is up next, David White. Have a terrific Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock.